first of all, check this shit out. I know, right? Second of all, here's something that I want to start doing on a more regular basis is reviews. Because I really like movies. I think I've got a lot to say. As per usual, this video is completely unscripted, so it's going to be pretty rambly. But I've got basically everything I want to say down pat. Here is a review of Pixar's Brave. It's set in 10th century Scotland, and it's about a 15-year-old girl named Meriden who I keep wanting to call Murrah because that's how many times I've seen Braveheart. And she resists an arranged marriage, and her mom gets turned into a bear. And it's cute. I liked it. And I have to say that one of the main reasons I liked it was for the same reason I tolerate the Thor movie. Personally, I thought the Thor movie was horrible, but I still like the fact that it exists. The reason for this being that, for the same reason I really like Brave, it just goes to show that the heritage of Western civilization is still alive and well in our culture. As much as the left-wing social Marxists are trying to, trying to snuff it out, it's still there and it's not disappearing. So about the movie. It's a... It's a nice swashbuckling adventure story and I was very pleasantly surprised by the ending. Well, the, uh, one of the main parts of the conflict is that Muradin, who is the king's daughter, has to be married off to a son of one of the Klonics in order to preserve the kingdom. But of course, being a human being, she dislikes the idea of arranged marriage. She rebels against the arranged marriage and is, well, creates a conflict. And as I said, I was very pleasantly surprised because it was set up, the story was set up as if it was going to end as just another like it's just another girl power movie about a girl who doesn't want to be a pretty pretty princess and somehow magically her actions don't end in war but and as a matter of fact while I was watching the movie there is actually a part close to the end where the where the clans are on the verge of war because of her actions. And I was expecting it to end with her somehow explaining how their beliefs were primitive and savage and everybody was like, oh, she's right, let's not fight and somehow magically the kingdom is preserved. And that would have pissed me off because as much as I talk about anti-statism and how much I love capitalism, on the neighborhood, family, clan type level, I am a tribal communist. And I am perfectly happy to sacrifice my own welfare and even my own life in order to preserve the unity and stability of my, of my social group. On a wider scale, I'm the most capitally capitalist you'll ever meet, 
but on say, but on like a neighborhood level, I am a tribal communist. That's just the way it is. So, but in the end, the conflict is resolved without any, without requiring suspension of disbelief. And Muradin still recognizes that she needs to marry one of the sons of the Clonics in order to preserve the kingdom, and agrees to do it, except on her own terms. Which I like even better, because freedom. So, and of course, it was made by Pixar, which means it's goddamn beautiful. And it's set in 10th century Scotland, which makes it double beautiful. And it had a very good soundtrack. All in all, I liked it a lot. But something has been brought to my attention. To the surprise of nobody, people are fucking stupid. Especially the cultural Marxists. People are complaining because there are no black characters in a movie that is set in 10th century Scotland. Like, and you can tell by a map that they show near, that they show near the beginning and by some of the ruins that this isn't just Scotland this is the very tippy tippy top of Scotland like right below the Orkneys how the fuck is a black person going to get there in in the tenth fucking century And a bigger question, why does every movie need a strong lead of a different race? Like, a, when I was 12 years old, I watched Pulp Fiction, which is high on my list of greatest movies ever made. And from the age of 12 to about the age of 17, you know who my hero was? Samuel L. motherfucking Jackson. I say that if you think that black people can't enjoy a movie and look up to the characters just because there isn't a strong black lead, or conversely white people can't enjoy the movie and look up to the characters just because there's not a strong white lead, you know what that makes you? That makes you a fucking racist. Just because I was a white kid doesn't mean Samuel L. Jackson couldn't be my hero. Just because you're a black kid doesn't mean Muradin can't be your hero. Quit being stupid. And of course this just further illustrates the inherent racism of the cultural Marxists. No, the inherent anti-European racism of the cultural Marxists. Because very clearly, the Macintosh clan in Brave we're Vasco Caledonians. And the Vasco Caledonians are the most disenfranchised race on the planet. Like, the Macintosh clan was probably the only Vasco Caledonian clan left in 10th century Scotland. And nowadays, the Vasco Caledonians barely even exist as a people, except in a few small enclaves in the mountains of Spain. So there you go. There are your people of color, right there. But of course the Vasco Caledonians can't be people of color because they're from Europe. I mean, yeah, they've been there longer than white people have, but they're European, so that automatically makes them white.
all in all, brave, very good movie. It's cute. A lot of swashbuckling adventure without without any blood, so it's something grown ups can enjoy, but it's something you can take the little kids to. I liked it. You should watch it. Albu Gabra.